Good morning. Good morning. And a good morning it is. The Supreme Court decision upholding President Obama's wonderful action to support our dreamers. The DACA decision is something that uh, supports our values as a country. A federal judge in Texas has once again declared DACA illegal. The immigration program prevents the deportation of around 600,000 young adults who came to the country as children. The dreamers across the country enjoy more popularity than almost anyone. Bullshit! Overwhelmingly, it's something like um, 75, 80 percent of the American people, three quarters of the people who vote support the dreamers. <laughs> breaking news. A federal judge in Texas ruled today that a regulation intended to preserve the Obama era deferred action for childhood arrivals or DACA program is unlawful. Three quarters, a large number of Republicans, independents, people who over 60 percent of people who support President Trump support the dreamers. Bullshit. They say there's broad bipartisan consensus to protect the dreamers. No, there isn't. If there was, they would protect the dreamers. They could pass the legislation tomorrow if they actually agreed. Uh, so this is really, we were in, just in such dread about what could possibly happen at the court up until last night, just if it goes this way, if it goes that way. The Supreme Court today did not rule that the DACA program is legal. Rather, the Supreme Court ruled that the Trump administration did not provide the proper legal justification for ending the program. Sandra Martinez is all smiles tonight. She's celebrating the Supreme Court's decision that the president can't immediately end the DACA program. Now with everything that just happened today, I'm definitely gonna start going back. I'm gonna go to college and start that up again. Oops. No bullets. This way is the American way, and we're very proud of it. This is delivering a major blow to the Biden administration. Last year, the administration moved to preserve the program, which protects undocumented immigrants who were brought to the U.S. as children. Judge Andrew Hannon of the Southern District of Texas maintained that DACA is unlawful and argued the rule violated the Administrative Procedure Act. A federal judge has uh, made a ruling in regard to the rollback of DACA. Now, uh, the judge in this case stated that the Justice Department must actually justify the rollback of DACA in order to go through with it. This is the third court in several months to say that the program must continue. First one was in Brooklyn, the other one was in San Francisco, this is in D.C. But the guy who made the decision here was nominated by George W. Bush. So he's a Republican and he's saying, look, I hear you, but uh, it appears that your decision is what he called arbitrary and capricious, which is a legal standard, and you've not really given me any reason to rule on your behalf. So, and he's given them 90 days, come up with a reason. And now to some breaking news out of Texas, a U.S. district judge there has ruled again that the DACA program is unlawful. That's a program that protects hundreds of thousands of undocumented people known as dreamers from deportation and allows them to work legally in the United States. So uh, the argument that you hear from right-wingers who despise DACA and despise protections for these immigrants is that Obama did this through an executive order. Mm -hmm. And it's something that should have been done through Congress. Okay, that would be maybe a believable argument. With respect to uh, the notion that I can just suspend deportations through executive order, uh, that's just not the case. So uh, the argument that you hear from right-wingers. Uh, because there are laws on the books that Congress has passed, uh, and I know that everybody here at Bell is studying hard, so you know that we've got three branches of government. There are enough laws on the books by Congress that are very clear in terms of how we have to enforce uh, our immigration system. That for me to simply, through executive order, ignore those congressional mandates uh, would uh, not conform with my appropriate role as president. The argument that you hear from right-wingers, Obama did this through an executive order. Mm -hmm. And it's something that should have been done through Congress. Okay, that would be maybe a believable argument if 
Trump wasn't signing executive orders left and right when it comes to policy that should be decided by Congress. That for me to simply, through executive order, ignore those congressional mandates uh, would uh, not conform with my appropriate role as president. The DACA decision is something that uh, supports our values as a country. Americans are dreamers, too. You don't know what you're talking about. You are not helping the cause that we want to take this first stage to death. Well, do you not want to listen? Nancy Pelosi says voting for Democrats is the only way to give leverage to illegal immigrants. We are not going to be able to get it done under the Republican uh, leadership in Congress. We believe that we will have leverage when we win in November. And why that's important? Because it gives leverage to every family, to every mom who courageously brought her child across the desert to escape. Large number of Republicans, independents, people who, over 60 percent of people who support President Trump support the Dreamers. As we do, you know, while we need to address the issue of immigration and the, and the challenge we have of, of undocumented people in our country, we certainly don't want any more coming in. But this way is the American way, and we're very proud of it. We certainly don't want any more coming in. 75, 80 percent of the American people, three quarters of the people who vote support the Dreamers. We certainly don't want any more coming in.